This is the Unitarian Church of Lincoln video update for Friday, August 6th, 2021. Yesterday afternoon, the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department sent out a press release announcing that the COVID risk dial in Lancaster County has moved to mid yellow. Last night, I met with the safety response team of our church um, to talk through what steps as, as part of our stepwise plan that entails. So based on that meeting and based on the plan that we wrote back in March and are continuing to implement, here are the things that are changing moving forward. This is also in your e-blast um, as, uh, as a written document as well. Effective today, um, we're moving our Sunday worship capacity down to about 50 people with advanced registration. We are not going to have in-person Sunday school religious growth and learning programming while we're at Mid Yellow. We'll move to online only. Now, all through the summer, we've been doing that online um, and, and having in-gatherings for um, children that came. And, and the truth is that we haven't had many children in person over the summer, so that actually doesn't change much. One significant change is that the church building, the office here, um, is going to, to close down unless it's by appointment only. Um, we'll be open from 9 to noon on Sundays because of the, the worship service, but midweek if you come here at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday, uh, we won't necessarily be staffing the building in person. Small groups um, can continue to meet in the building, however, and, and this, is, this is one of those hard ones, um, the, the requirement is going to be masks and social distancing, so six feet apart. And rentals uh, will follow Sunday protocols, so less than 50 people, masks, social distancing. Some things aren't changing um, from yesterday to today. Um, we're not, we're going to continue to require masks for everybody. We'll continue to provide childcare on Sundays beginning at 945 in the preschool room while our water fountain will remain closed, we'll continue to provide paper cups in bathrooms and kitchens. Um, we're not yet singing congregational hymns, uh, and we ask that you just please do continue um, practicing active consent. This is also, so ask before you shake somebody's hand. This also may be a good time to revisit these stickers that we talked about on our name tags on Sunday morning. Back six months ago when we were first entering the the building we we had out red, yellow, and green stickers that you could put on your name tag. Green was that you were fully vaccinated and ready to ready for physical contact with permission. Red was please stay six feet away and I'm not ready to interact with people yet and, and yellow was something in between. Those are always intended to be th decisions that we can revisit and so this may be a good time to think about what your what your level of comfort is. If you've had a green sticker on your name tag but the Delta variant has you concerned, maybe you want to switch to a yellow sticker. On the other hand, maybe if you've had a yellow sticker on your name tag for the last six months and you're not really feeling that anymore and want a green sticker, we can do that as well. The key is to assess your own risk tolerance while you're in the building. Those of us in leadership are going to continue to make decisions based on risk tolerance for the community as a whole, but within that, that is made up of a lot of individual choices. So please do be conscious about what choices you are making as an individual. We're going to continue to reassess both these guidelines and the information that we're getting from the city and the state. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, you can reach out to me. My email is minister at unitarianlincoln.org. You can reach out to our administrative director, admin at unitarianlincoln.org. That's Gene Helms. You can also reach out to the, the board leadership who's been a part of this as well. This is not where we hope to be <laughs> a month before in gathering. Everybody watching this video knows that. I know that. But we will, we have and we will continue 
to both follow best practices, the, the public health advice that we are getting from state and local and national sources, and just doing the best we can as, as people making decisions based on that. Um, we're going to get through this. The, we're through like the long, long shutdowns. Now, now the question is not whether we'll be back in the, car, in the church. It's how and under what circumstances. And so we're, we're going to keep refining that as we go the next couple months. In the meantime, if you haven't gotten vaccinated, please do so. Um, if you aren't wearing masks while you're out, um, please do so. Um, and I will see you soon.